After that one night together, she disappeared like she'd never existed. Okay. And you went downstairs and found all the evidence of what she did to you, correct? Hello? No last name, no number, no message, no address. Just her wine glass. It took me a while to wash it. I don't really know why. Funny, huh? As if it... Blah. Were you expecting her to come back? I wanted to get to know her, but the way she left made things pretty clear. I was hoping he didn't wash it because he can get some DNA or something, but... I but don't something know. much better happened. Remember that thing I said about looking out the window? Focusing on something and, and letting my fingers free write? Yes, I believe the day you met Faye, you'd chosen... Mm, birds. A flock of birds? Uh-huh. Yeah, good memory. At least somebody around here doesn't need a spiral to remember things. <laughs> Starting that day, I made it into a routine. Uh, we gonna look at the... We gonna look at the transmission tower this time. Uh, this is our starting point. Some days, something interesting would come out of it. Most others, nothing would. But I decided that my next book would be a collection of short stories or vignettes in the style of Bierce or Kafka. New book? How is it coming? I'll tell you later. Uh, surprise. When the cell phone tower fell to the ground, we didn't know what to think. Interest. We poked it with sticks as one would poke a dead snake. Curiosity. We wanted to know everything about it. It who, until today, hadn't known everything about us. A little over a month ago. About a year since Faye's first visit. I thought it was Samuel. We'd been playing a lot of chess and we're supposed to pick up a game we'd started the night before. A year. He still got that damn shirt on with that blood stain, though. And she's like, I named her Jenny, boy. What did you think when you saw her? I was like, I couldn't believe my eyes. I didn't think it was her. Just someone who looked like her. But it wasn't the case. Her name is Jenny. She's a... She's your daughter. It wasn't surprising to you that she had the same name as your sister? Yeah, but not as much as the other news. And so... <laughs> Guess what she told me, Doctor? What did she tell you? She asked you for money? She done it? She proposed? Uh... I'm gonna say this She one. said it was up to you whether you acknowledged paternity? People like, no. Exactly. Oh. She said she was sure I was the father. That it would have been unfair not to tell me. That she didn't need my help or my money. But if I recognized her as my daughter... I could be in her life. And if you decide not to, it's fine. We'll leave right now and you'll never see us again. But call us a taxi, please. You didn't call one, did you? You're on a roll, Doctor. And so, I looked at Jenny. I guess it goes without saying that I've never felt emotional around babies. I knew she was my daughter just by looking at her. Probably remind you but of your sister. She reminded me so much of my sister that I don't know. I felt something. This is. Of course, I didn't give Faye an answer. I was confused and 
I told her I needed time to give me a few days. I said they could stay with me instead of at a motel. Did anything happen between you and Faye? Did she tell you her last name? Uh, did she tell you about her life? Did she tell you anything about her life? Apparently, she was about to start a master's in something like what you did, I guess. Yeah. But she had to hit the brakes because of her pregnancy. Only child, father a widower, pretty well off, pretty old and hoping for grandkids. Not the baby smiled at him. <laughs> what? They didn't stay in the main house. Anything? Did anything happen? After that first night, did anything ever happen again between you two? No. No. I don't know. It was all so strange. As if we were suddenly 20 years older. It would have been hard for me to see her that way. Not to mention how efficient we were the first time. Yeah. Did she do anything strange? Did Faye do anything strange? Anything that took you aback? Uh, no. She spent the whole day with the baby, taking care of her, playing. <laughs> it sounds dumb, but I was even a little jealous. We're no, all she dumb. started moving her shit. We're all dumb, it's real. She started moving her stuff in your house. When you slept together the first night, she said she was on birth oh, control, pill. didn't she? Did you talk about it afterwards? She was sure she hadn't skipped a single day. But, of course, no method is 100% effective. And she just always outside. When you come home, ready to wave and the baby always turn and smile. He got pampers. Well, it's his baby, so yeah. He must move her in. You didn't let Faye and Jenny stay in the main house? There's just my room there. About 10 years ago, when I moved back in, Aunt Claire started visiting me a lot, so I converted the old garage into a guest house. My aunt is better if kept at a safe distance. Understood. Understood. She didn't consider an abortion. How long were you both here? Did she apologize? Did she tell you why she disappeared that first night? Did she apologize? No, and I didn't ask her to. You have any idea how many times I've done that? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the gist of it. Last she never name? told you her last name? No last name, no address. I would have told the police. I didn't ask her for her number either. She never left the house that whole time and... <laughs> I guess we were past that stage by that point. Oh, 
Oh, we got our pirate book. Oh my gosh, this is so painful. How long were they here? I've been thinking back on it these days and I'd say it was exactly three weeks. They got here on a Sunday and as you know, they disappeared on a Sunday. Are you okay? Do you want to take a break? No. A young girl, single, with an unwanted pregnancy. It she didn't think wanted. about getting an abortion? She told me that she was going to at first, but after a few days, <laughs> I think I get it. Anyway, the first two weeks felt good, but then things got warped. Like my head started to rebel. Like if it was pissed off that I was doing well. Wake up, Eddie. Wake up. Why'd you do it, sweetie? Do what? Mom? It was Dad. He meant to. We're doomed because of you, sweetie. You're no better than him. Why did that just start happening randomly? This shit making my heart beat fast. What's going on? Was it a recurring nightmare? Every night. Always the same message. And the days weren't much better. I'd wake up exhausted, couldn't focus on anything. For years I hadn't thought about them constantly. I hadn't relived their deaths over and over again. Until... Ed! 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 Huh? Jenny's temperature is 103.6. Huh? Are you sure? Sometimes babies just... What do you know about babies? Let's go to the hospital. Get dressed. I'm unlocking your car. I'll wait for you in there. She's framing him. She must have gone back and put the bottle in there or something. I don't know why, though. Get dressed.
This nigga talking about some grab some reading material. Bitch, your baby got 103 temperature. Fuck the books. What are you talking about? Grab some reading material. This is when the accident happens, okay? Is this the car they were in? Hello? I got the book just this in case. This is not the time for books. <sighs> okay, sorry. I'm just stressed out. There. You want to ride in the back with Jen? Ugh. And that's it? Until I woke up on the bridge. Yeah. Well... We both know what I remember. Should we try what I forget? Focus on your sister's face, please. Is there anything unusual about it? Her eyes. They're brown. They'd always been blue. And do you remember what color Faye's baby's eyes are? Brown. You can stop. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, maybe this is Faye? Is that what you're telling me? Focus on your mother's face, please. Focus on her and tell me what you see. It's gonna be Faye. She has face face. But she's my mom. What are we saying here? Do you remember what time you went to bed that night? Around 11? Very early for me, but I was exhausted. Well, what the f time was that? That's just set off 68 degrees. Ooh, right here. Oh, there's nothing right here? Analyze. It must be a secondary thing. What's that? Are you sure those tire marks were made by your car? Could be. Next to the marks, are there any footprints? No, the ground is really dry. No footprints? Can you make out your father's features? He's really far away. Okay. Focus on your feelings, on your body. It's weird. I'm exhausted and at the same time full of energy. My head hurts, my neck, my eyes feel heavy and tired. Mm-hmm. Do you recognize your father, his face? His 
back is to me. And his body? He looks a little shorter. What did we gather from that? I don't even know. What, Doctor? What? So? So? <laughs> what did I tell you? What does she- what? What does- what is what? Doctor, you're scaring me. Me too! Cause I don't get it. Julia? When we dream, we lose some of the details. Mm-hmm. We, we see certain things extremely clearly, but the rest tend to be out of focus. You about to say his dad ain't dead? You remember very concrete details, including the exact time down to the minute. Mm hmm Doing the math. The first time you dreamt about your mother, you should have been in stage two of NREM sleep. Okay. The probability of dreaming in that during that phase is minimal. Stop. Am I supposed to be understanding something of all that? Right. What are you saying? Sinister, y'all. What's the purpose of this? Is that supposed to be his sister? I don't- it can't be! I don't get it! She got the wig. I don't understand her motives.
Why didn't I steal his key? Oh, when I tell you, I'm, 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 I'm so baffled. Reawaken his trauma and repeat. Why are we doing this to him? Who are you? Your little sweetheart is drugged up, but if you start meowing and wake him up, the cat. Maybe episode two or three. Maybe episode one. I don't remember. Dr. Loomis asks him about the cat. Where's the cat? Haven't seen the cat around. He says, oh, he goes missing eventually. This is why the cat goes missing. This is why the cat goes missing. How do I get you out of there without you making a fuss, kitty? Putting the baby on the counter is wild. <laughs> Cat said, I am hungry. You drop. She drugged the cat. She probably killed that cat. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy work right here. Oh. R.I.P. to the cat, bro. You didn't deserve that, bro. Poor pet. Defy you? What? Thief of what? What the hell?
You put that in your pocket. You just put that rattle in your pocket, the whole thing. What I'm trying to figure out is, is the doctor putting all this together? That this, this, this is what this woman is doing to him. Everybody Freddy Fish, huh? Everybody can just stick random shit in their back pocket. He grabs the book. Jenny's temperature is 103.6. Huh? Why'd you take so long? <sighs> okay, sorry. I'm just stressed out. Here. Ugh, no. She hit him with some chlorophyll or something. You want to ride in the back with Jen? <laughs> Ugh. I just don't understand why she's doing this to him. Seriously? Are you sure fate? Do you have a different Unless theory? you have a different theory. No, I guess not. So, Jenny? Is she alive? Where is she? Who is she? That I do not know. How do we... what do we do? We have to find out who Faye is. She said she was a fan. Could she be hooked up with a grudge? Reyes is on it. She said she was a she fan. She said she was a fan, right? Now we're going to believe her? The best lies are partly true. Touche. I have a folder with fan mail, and I could look through Twitter. Could she be a hookup? Could Faye be a girl who got offended by the way you ended things? Um, there are quite a few of those. There Don't was a girl like that. I never him. make any promises, and I'm always honest about what I don't want. But I know what you're thinking. I could look, I don't know, through my text messages? I don't know if I told you this before, but Sheriff Reyes is on it. Okay, let's recap. I look for fans I like Kathy Bates in misery. Try to remember crazy ex-girlfriends, and you and your new friend, the sheriff, do whatever you have to. What? You, you're, you're walking. Oh, now he can't. Oh. Yo, when he's not thinking about it, he can do it. <laughs> Yay! Good for Ed, bro. This story is bonkers. It's a fucking gunshot. Just analyze the damn bullet and see if it came out of Miller's gun. What's taking them so long? Why don't you call them? Get serious. 
Tell them Reyes is pissed off. If there's still no word by the time I'm back, I'll call them. All right. Are you gonna be a while? In 500 yards, take the exit towards Airport Road. Hold on. Are you at the airport? Um, it's kind of hard to explain. That's out of our jurisdiction. Uh, I'm following, uh, a false lead. What? Why? It's information that Julie, uh, Dr. Lomas got from Miller. I want her on our side. So however distorted the lead may be, we have to keep her happy. Julie, doctor? Am I missing something? What? You're not missing any shit. What's wrong? I missed the place because of you. If I get a ticket, you're paying for it. All right, all right. Will you make it for the search party? South Sector, 5.30? South Sector, 5.30. I'll be there. We'll find her today, right? I wish I could guarantee it, kid. We'll do everything we can. Yeah, okay. We'll talk later. Like what? The owner and the mechanic? Did they leave? I don't want to break in here. She was not just back there. Hey, hey, you! We're closed. Estamos cerrados. On a fair May. Wir haben geschlossen. Siamo chiusi. Moshiwake gozaimasen. Not in every language you know. That's crazy. Sorry, sir. Do you speak my language? We're out of cars, comprende? I do. But I can't rent you a car. They're all booked. Zero cars available. Well, I should say I have minus one car available since this one broke down and they're supposed to pick it up in two hours. We heard but I have that. zero mechanics plus one shitty day. So if you'd be so kind, take a right on your way out. You'll see my competition in 300 yards. Tell them Amber Wong sent you and that they owe me one. Have a nice day. Amber, this is why you don't have customers because you're being a... Um, I wasn't planning on renting a car. My name is Nick Reyes. I'm a private detective, and I need your help. Any other day, I'd be happy to help you, detective. Just not today. I'm 100% sure my competition would be glad to help you. Take a right, 300 yards, tell them I sent you. Have a nice day. Unless you're a skilled mechanic. Know anything about motors? You think you could fix this car? Please say yes, you're gonna say yes. I'll try, but you need to tell I me- I wish I could guarantee it, and I'll do what I can. It turns on, but no matter how much I step on the gas pedal, it doesn't budge. <sighs> that selfish bastard. I should have known he'd bail out on me, asshole. A little piece of life and business advice, detective. If you ever start a business and hire your significant other, well, never break up during high season. Well? Can you open the hood for me, please? Not on her. See, what's wrong is your transmission what? is missing. I don't know yet. He's a sheriff. How wow, is he supposed to know? a great start. Turn on the ignition. Try turning the key in the ignition, please. It sound like it was on already. Don't put the car in drive. Press the accelerator. Can you press the accelerator. I just told you the car won't budge no matter how much I press that pedal. Are you sure you know how these things work? Now I see why you said you'd try. Okay, but you was having luck. I don't like people like that. Don't ask for help and be a jerk, bro. You're the one who put the car in drive. Put the crazy. car in drive. She gonna run over you. Huh. What? It's what I thought. That's why I asked you to put it in drive. The clutch cable is loose. 
the clutch. I knew that. I don't need to unscrew the cables from the terminals. Remove the battery. Attach the loose cable. Where do you keep your tools? In the parking area. The big chest. Oh my gosh, just skip this. Give it to me yourself. Start the car. Ah, hey! Sorry, sorry, sorry. You okay? Like I said, this isn't my day. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Are you alright? You know what I'm gonna do? Study mechanics for emergencies like this. I've got two college degrees. It can't be harder than making sense of a spreadsheet. Um, I just can't do it all on my own. You know how hard it is to run a business like this? I'm gonna need somebody. A good mechanic. Better one than that idiot. Your turn. Um... I appreciate the offer. But I'm not a mechanic, and uh, I'm not looking for a job. And I didn't offer you one. <laughs> Are you serious? We both know you just got lucky. I mean, about what you told me before. So tell me, how can I help you? I'm looking for a woman in her 20s, Caucasian, blonde, green eyes. You rented her a car last year, between the 7th and 8th of October. She might have been coming from the airport. If I could check your records... It'll just take a second. Please? No. No! Any idea how serious the authorities are these days about data protection? So, I'm really sorry, but I can't help you. Of course, I can't stop you from stealing the information when I'm not looking. What's a girl to do if she has to... Run to the bathroom and has, say, zero mechanics to watch her desk for her. Okay. Given the insane morning I've had, you'll excuse me, right? Yeah. W. I was really about to get mad. <laughs> a list of customers who rented a car between the 7th and 8th of October of last year. How about that? Get anything? You have to say print that stuff off and let's go. Ain't nothing coming out that printer. Ain't no paper in it. Hope you find your mechanic soon. And I hope you find that girl, detective. Uh, one last thing. Is anything you told me true? Yeah. Some parts are. Of course. I'll hold the job for you until Monday. Deal? I'm all ears. Where the hell were you? Hmm. 
Were you able to speak with ballistics? We got him, Nick. It's Miller. The bullet that killed my uncle is from the gun you found in his car. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. I know how you feel, kid, but... No, I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna smash his face in until he tells me where my aunt is. Adam, if you lay a hand on Miller, he'll come out on top. He'll report you. And we'll be even further away from finding your aunt. Wait for me at the station. We'll go together, all right? Madam? Fuck. <clears throat> Shit. That's the doctor? Sorry, kid, but... Sheriff? I just received some crucial information. Um, not only does Faye exist, but... I'm going to arrest Miller. What? No! The gun from his glove compartment killed Samuel Franklin. No, Ed didn't kill anybody. It is what it is. Please, listen to me, please. Okay, go ahead. Talk. Did you go to the car rental? Uh, the gun is in evidence. It will make it... Did you visit the car rental agency? Yes, I had the names. No fame. If Naturally. I'm right, it makes sense that she wouldn't use her real name. Right. Um... I know everything points to Ed, but it's a ploy. A ploy yeah. meticulously organized by a sick mind. Fay. Do you have proof? Not yet. Um, we won't find... we won't find her? I want to find Esther Franklin as much as you do. Arresting Ed won't help. Quite the opposite. Nor do you have evidence that the gun belonged to Ed, let alone that he was the one who shot it. Not yet. So, that makes two of us. I'm not 100% convinced, but what do you want me to do? Could you meet me at the Brody Canyon Bridge in an hour? You there. We need to stop that dude. Whoa! Oh. 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 Are you all right? Are you? And you? Are you all right? Don't worry about me. What are you looking for? He's at the house, isn't he? He gonna go do something he ain't got no business doing. Adam Franklin. Whoever killed your uncle is not at that house. You won't find the person who killed your uncle in that house. But I know where to start looking. I can't help you find your aunt. I can help you find your aunt, but he can't. He can't help you find your aunt, but I can. I understand how you're feeling, but don't let anger blind you. Listen to me, please. Just let that be it. I don't want to say he cares about that. I have to stop by my motel first, but... In 45 minutes, we're going to do a little experiment on the Brody Canyon Bridge. See you there? What if I'm doing all of this and he's guilty? This game is stressing me out. That's what I need you to do.